Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to be writing and solving expressions. That's it, writing and solving expressions. We are also going to practice a little bit. So let's get started. When we're asked to write an expression, basically we're often taking sentences and making them into math operations and expressions. The number of cows in a pink field increases by three per year. Write this as an expression. So to do this, what we like to do is have something called a variable or a letter that represents something we're looking for. So I'm going to use the word C or the letter C for cows and that is my expression or part of my expression, a term inside of my expression. So C is for cows and you might think that you would just say C plus 3. The cows are increasing by 3. So it's cows plus three, and that might be what you would think. And after one year, that would be correct. But after two years, it would be increasing by six, and by th after three years, it would be increasing by nine. So that doesn't really work long term. What we have to do is increase it by three times the number of years. So this expression, three or C, C plus 3Y is the number of cows plus 3 times the number of years. So this way we're actually writing an expression that represents everything inside of this. Now let's look at how to actually use this. So solving the expression, the number of cows in a pink field increases by 3 per year. Got it. Solve it when you start with 15 cows and you raise cows for four years. So what we're going to do is take our expression, cows plus three times the number of years, and we're going to insert the pieces of information that we have. Cows is 15, and four is the number of years. And so we just plug that information directly into our expression. So we basically are labeling 15C, cows is C. Four years. Four would go in for Y. And when you have a number and a letter directly next to each other, it implies multiplication. So this isn't three Y, it's three times Y. So that's the way we would write this out. When you're solving, we always use the order of operations. So we will do three times four first, because multiplication comes before addition. So we get 3 times 4 is 12, and 15 plus 12 will give us 27. There are 27 cows. If you start with 15 and you increase by 3 each year, you will end up with 27 cows at the end of 4 years. There we go. So let's practice with this idea of writing expressions and then solving these expressions. So your average speed can be calculated by the dividing the distance you drove by the number of hours you drove. The distance you drove will be called D for distance and the number of hours you drive is going to be T for time. So we're going to write an expression and then solve it if I travel 200 miles in 5 hours. My distance is 200, my time is 5 hours. So the first part is to write an expression. I have to say the distance divided by the time. That's pretty straightforward. D divided by T. And now I'm going to solve it. 200 is my distance. 5 hours is my time. 200 divided by 5. We'll say I'm going 40. And when I'm dividing miles divided by hours, it's miles per hour. So if I drive 200 miles in 5 hours, I will be going on an average of 40 miles per hour. So now we're going to practice. You have three expressions here on the board. 2x plus y, y minus 3z, and x plus z divided by 2. I've created these expressions for you. You don't have to make them. There's no word problem here. But I want you to solve these three expressions given that x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4, and z is equal to 5. Go ahead and pause the recording and try and solve all three of those and then come back for the full explanations. We're back. 2x plus y. Let's start with the red expression there. 
I'm going to substitute x equals 3 and y equals 4 into this expression. Notice that I have multiplication here. 2x means 2 times my value of x. x is equal to 3. y is equal to 4, so I'm going to add that on at the end. We do multiplying before we do addition. So we'll do 2 times 3, which is 6, and 6 plus 4 equals 10. How did you do on that one? You can't really tell me, but I'm going to assume you did pretty well, or you learned something from not doing it correctly. There you go. Now let's skip up to our fraction expression, x plus z divided by 2. The first step is to substitute x equals 3 and z equals 5. Oh, and now it's fixed. All right, so x equals 3, z equals 5. So it becomes 3 plus 5 over 2. Or in other words, 8 over 2. 8 divided by 2, which gives us 4. Now, in this case, we did not do the division before we did the addition. We added first. That's because this is a fraction bar, and it implies that you'll do everything on the top first, everything on the bottom simplified, and then you do the division at the end. That's following the correct order of operations. In our final question, y minus 3z, the yellow expression in the middle, we start out by substituting y equals 4, z equals 5. All right. We do multiplication before we do addition or subtraction. So this is going to become 4 minus 15 because we do that multiplication first. And then we have to remember the rules for adding and subtracting integers because I have a positive 4 and I'm taking away 15, I'll end up with negative 11. And that's how you would solve this and get the correct final answer. So a quick recap, we did writing expressions from sentences, we did solving expressions when you were given them or when you created your own. We did a lot of practice. I hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.